Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the NECA action figure of Lieutenant Ellen Ripley from Aliens. It's taken many waves in NECA's Alien series to finally get us the Ripley from Aliens. And it's taken Aliens fans way longer than that because, you know, she was a holdout for her likeness for a long time. So this is the first real proper Aliens Ripley figure we've ever had. And I gotta say, I think it's worth the wait. One thing I gotta stress up front is how it's a considerable improvement over the NECA Alien Ripley figure as far as the face goes. I'm going to show you a comparison, and it is striking, like, just the massive difference between the two. I think, first of all, the, the sculpt of her mouth line around the nose and mouth is much stronger than it is here, but also just how cartoonishly simple the eyeball paint is on this compared to what we get now. There's more detail in the eyeball paint, so I think that's great. Eyebrows look good. Also, they went with a, a skin base for the uh, plastic head and then kind of painted the highlights on it as opposed to just painting the entire face, which gives us a far more simpler look. This is a massive improvement. And I gotta say, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think they did a great job sculpting her hair. Her hair looks awesome. Um, all the little waves and curls in it look really, really good. Um, but the lightness on this is just... It's pretty strong for NECA, I gotta say. I was not impressed with the likeness of the first ones from Alien. The likeness here is stronger. Uh, now there's some good details on here worth noting. I like they use this sort of gray paint to highlight the sweat around here. That's a nice detail. They could have just gone with the white shirt and let it be that. The sculpt on this shirt and the pants, all the wrinkling, especially around the lower back, the thighs and everything, are great. The, her shoes look great. The detail of like the lines, the gray, the red paint, the dirtying of like the whiteness of it. The, these shoes look awesome. The dirtying of the front of the pants look great. Zipper lines look good. The hips with their dirt. A lot of paint detail on here that's not just the basic fabric color. So good job to them for that. The uh, strap going across her chest. All the red paint here. Silver paint. Really solid work. There's some other good little details on here like the white nails on her hands and the... Uh, the watch on her wrist, and also the straps going up across her shirt have a nice little wrinkle to the uh, the empty little spots, and the uh, little strap has a little black buckle on there. So yeah, really nice details on this figure. Also, what's really well detailed is the uh, pulse rifle with the uh, you know, little flamethrower attached, which also kind of spins, which is cool. Um, I think it actually does it come off. I don't know, but uh, yeah, this looks good. There's little tiny metal spots of paint which give it like a metallic scuff to it so that's great but the use of black against green is good the strap is cool the way it it uh straps from the pulse rifle around to the flamethrower it's a good little detail so i dig that and the pulse rifle looks awesome so the two of these together look great articulation on this figure is very very impressive to me some of the best articulation i've encountered with NECA it's got great range of motion at the shoulders the hinge is good. Uh, you got a swiveling hinge at the elbow, which allows you to get the arms in a good position to hold the plasma rifle. The hinge at the wrist is great. There's a mid-torso cut, which is hidden with the belt line here. And it's a great range of motion, and it's very well hidden. Also, the knee joint is well hidden, but the, uh, the legs have a great range of motion, and they hold really well. They're not stiff, so they're very mobile, but then they're not loose and slidey. Uh, the ankle ball joint is really great as well, so it gets into some really good positions and holds really well. The only issue I have is her head, which kind of starts in the package in a down position, but then only comes up about yay high. There's not a good range of motion up and down. But if you position her uh, with her torso and legs, you do get like a good headline, so it doesn't look like she's tilting her head too far down once you, you know, pose her. But I mean, as far as like bending her legs and getting her into some more like action-y poses, the ankles really support that. The legs are really strong. I really dig how this figure turned out. I think if you're a fan of Ripley from Aliens, you're really going to like this figure. It's very well sculpted. It's a massive improvement on the previous Ripley figure. And there's a lot of good details in the paint. I think NECA just nailed this one. Thanks for watching.